gears to a different story. And Kenya Pipeline Managing Director Jo Sang has resigned in the wake of a scandal involving the loss of 11 million litres of fuel. Sang has opted not to seek a second term upon the expiry of his tenure next year. He quit as oil marketers raised concern over the supply of jet fuel by brokers. Here's KTN's Rita Tirina with details. From the construction of the Kisumu oil jetty, the Mombasa Nairobi pipeline, to procurement, the Kenya Pipeline Company has been under probe. Now, the loss of 11 million liters of fuel in the custody of the company through vandalism or spillage on the main line has thrown the company into the spotlight for the wrong reasons again. And one man has been on the spot, managing director Joe Sang. And in a dramatic twist, Sang, who was appointed MD in April 2016, has quit. In a statement, KPC Board of Directors Chairperson John Gumi said the board received and accepted Joe Sang's letter stating that due to personal reasons, he will not be seeking a second term as managing director. He quit as the search for answers in the loss of 11 million liters of fuel continued. Oil marketing companies appeared before the National Assembly Committee on Energy. We basically have agreed we are getting an auditor who is acceptable to all of us and obviously will have to be acceptable to, to, to Kenya Pipeline. The companies have until the 31st of December to have the forensic audit of stocks completed. They also raise concern over the supply of jet fuel. We are seeing um, a lot of uh, people who are supplying product into the into the planes do not necessarily have all the um, licenses that are, are, are requisite. They claim they do not have a level playing field with two companies which have been subcontracted by Kenya Airways and Fly 540 to supply jet fuel. If the brokers in our view could have the same license maybe we'll be playing or maybe we'll be in the same playing ground. Same requisite licenses that we have before they are allowed to operate. To the extent that that is the case, we are able to compete. We are not aware, and Kenya has explained how they entered into that contract with that third party and how they operate. They don't have any equipment, they don't have any premises at the airport, and that is why we did not know. The oil marketing companies questioned the supply of jet fuel as the Public Investments Committee raised the red flag over the construction of the multi-billion shilling Mombasa Nairobi pipeline, calling for investigations over how the Kenya Pipeline Company paid the contractor Zakim International despite a delay in putting up the pipeline. There were initial variations uh, of amounts that had been paid, reaching figures of 14, uh, close to 15 million uh, US dollars. Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter is on Wednesday scheduled to appear before the Senate Energy Committee over Kenya pipeline audit queries. Rita Tinina, KTN News.